Good morning and welcome to the May edition of the virtual user group of Lenovo. Today we welcome uh, Patrick uh, Mokui to discuss our relationship, our solution around EMC vSpecs. Uh, I'll remind everybody that the call, all lines are muted for uh, uh, as the call is being recorded for later playback. A link will be provided uh, to your email address once the, uh, once the call is ended um, with information on how to access those. Um, if you have questions, please utilize the chat window on the right side of your uh, WebEx panel, and then we will review the questions after the presentation. With that said, I'll go ahead and pass it over to Patrick Mokley. Pat? Okay. Thanks, Ben. Um, okay. Hello, folks. Uh, good morning, and uh, I appreciate everybody taking the time uh, to be on the call to, uh, to learn about B-Specs. Um, uh, as Ben said, I'm Pat Mokley. I am a director of marketing in the enterprise business group with Lenovo. I have responsibility for Flex Systems, uh, for Dents, for Converged, uh, for solution offerings, and on Wednesdays I have to back in the conference room. So uh, why don't we go ahead and get started. Um, this is what we're going to cover today. Uh, we'll go over a market overview. Uh, we'll talk about Converge systems, uh, what they, you know, uh, our definition of them, and then we'll talk about the specific uh, VSpecs uh, solutions that we have announced with EMC. Uh, talk about where we want to go with it uh, going through the rest of the year, and then and then we'll close up shop and ask uh, and, and answer any of the questions. So a lot of data on this chart, but the key takeaways are that. The converged infrastructure market is growing. Uh, if you look from 2012 to 2017, that's, a, that's almost a 33% uh, clip rate. Um, and, and when you look at the solutions, uh, how they're being delivered, um, roughly 40%, 38% of the market is reference architectures. Um, and about a quarter of it is our, our fixed configurations. And then the remainder of it um, is uh, single vendor converged, so that everything under the covers um, is, a, uh, is from a single vendor. Um, to differentiate between reference architectures and uh, fixed configurations, um, I like to use an example uh, that's non-IT. So if you think about um, a, a fixed configuration is, um, is kind of like, uh, if you think about chocolate chip cookies. Uh, fixed configuration uh, is like going to a bakery and getting a, a, a bakery made chocolate chip cookie. It's great, it's delicious, costs a little bit more, uh, but everything's done for you. You don't have to do any of the work. Uh, it's all right there, um, and uh, you can't really change what's there. You get what you get, but it's usually pretty good. Um, reference architectures, on the other hand, are kind of like the recipe on the back of the cookie bag. Um, you know, you can follow it to the letter and end up with some, some great cookies, but everybody knows that the, the, the real art comes in uh, in being able to add different things in, change the mixture, um, and, and, and come up with your own personalized version of it. So I um, hope I didn't make everybody hungry. Um, the other thing to look at on this is that um, most converged infrastructure solutions start out on the blade architecture. Um, for some, you know, as we have evolved, uh, Cisco was um, uh, will admit was a little bit ahead ahead of us on this as they partnered with uh, EMC uh, to to come out with uh, converged infrastructure uh, because they lacked a storage offer. So they went and partnered with someone who did. But as everybody who's following the industry is pretty well aware, um, that Cisco and EMC are not uh, getting along so much. Uh, as they have in the past. So uh, it's opened up some opportunities. Um, when you think about why people would do a converged systems or, or what the, the benefits are, IBM did a study. And uh, that study showed that uh, most customers felt that they get about a 30% productivity enhancement or productivity improvement by doing uh, uh, an, uh, converged uh, infrastructure implementation. But I think the real key one is uh, when you look at it that, that uh, the IBM study came back with uh, enterprise applications, uh, close to two-thirds of them by 2017, are going to be deployed in this manner. 
and this is kind of the uh, if you step back and, and look at where the IT history, uh, IT industry has evolved from in history, uh, this is kind of the equivalent of the um, uh, you know the turnkey solution uh, that was so prevalent with um, uh, with systems like the AS400 or RS6000. Uh, again, this is a 33% growth rate, so this is a huge opportunity um, uh, that's out there for, for partners. Uh, but the counter to that is that the rest of uh, the, the server and storage uh, business is not really growing. It's, it's flattish to down. So um, this is uh, IDC numbers, and uh, you know, so we anticipate this to be uh, uh, something that customers are, are really looking at doing because of, uh, because of the benefits they get from it. It offloads a lot of work from the customer uh, in their implementation. So um, when we talk about converged systems, just so we have a common definition, we're talking about the uh, tight integration of the three physical elements, compute storage and networking, plus, um, plus the element of management. Uh, and as everybody here I hope knows, and I think you had a, a virtual user group uh, a couple weeks ago, or maybe last month with uh, XClarity, um, our new management software. Uh, the XClarity product is, uh, has uh, enabled us to do a lot of this um, uh, integration and, and very seamless with, uh, with the partners that you'll see uh, as we move through the presentation, uh, VMware, uh, the EMC software stack, so, uh, and we will continue to, to improve that as well. So let's talk about the EMC offerings. Um, EMC, uh, the vSpecs program uh, is an EMC channel program uh, which is designed to provide that recipe, that, that uh, list of stuff on the back of the, the cookie bag or the chocolate chip bag, to tell people how to construct, um, to tell partners how to construct these solutions. Um, they run under the, um, the nomenclature of simple, efficient, flexible. Um, they are integrated in the channel by our partners and provided to the end users, uh, and they, uh, they then um, integrate all of the, uh, the elements you see there, from storage all the way up to the application. And again, simple, efficient, flexible, um, faster uh, deployment, uh, simplified provisioning. Uh, it's very efficient because it's uh, worry-free on the part of the customer. They know that both EMC and Lenovo are standing behind this configuration. They have both looked at it, tested it, uh, and, and ensured that it works. And they have a single point of contact with EMC uh, to make sure that uh, they have support. And it's also flexible. You'll see that we have um, uh, configurations ranging from small to very large, and we're going to continue to expand them as we move forward. So again, predefined reference architectures Lenovo tested, EMC tested. Um, we have announced so far uh, solutions for both private cloud and for end user computing, uh, which is VDI. I uh, have to tell you that I will use those terms, EUC for end user computing and VDI interchangeably. Uh, end user computing is EMC's uh, term for it, and uh, VDI is the uh, legacy IBM slash Lenovo term. So, but they mean the same thing. Uh, again, these are meet in the channel. So partners do uh, the integration. They acquire the systems from Lenovo, the storage from EMC, and they are based on our advanced x86 server platforms and Lenovo. I'm sorry, and EMC's uh, advanced storage platforms. Uh, and you can see we run the gamut from you know uh, for private cloud from 125 virtual machines all the way up to a thousand. Uh, and uh, on end user computing from uh, from 500 instances all the way up to uh, 3,500, and these incorporate all of our uh, of our products from Think Server to Flex System, and on the EMC side from the uh, very low end VNX 3,200 all the way up to their Extreme IO uh, all flash offerings. As I said before, X Clarity is a key portion of this. Um, and you can efficiently manage uh, 
uh, this environment with uh, XClarity. It plugs right into the VMware vCenter. And um, so the, the key benefit here is that it, um, uh, it, it plugs in and it utilizes tools and skills that administrators have already mastered. Uh, XClarity will also um, uh, plug into uh, Microsoft, um, uh, their solutions uh, for, um, for systems management. But um, uh, and you will see that we will be expanding some of this to uh, uh, to Microsoft as well as we move forward. EMC is the single point of contact for this. So uh, if there is a, a problem or a, uh, an issue, uh, the customer or the partner will contact EMC. They own the call all the way through to resolution, and they will engage Lenovo where, where needed. Let's talk about the, uh, the individual solutions. End user computing, um, or, or VDI, um, is simply uh, you know, a way of doing virtual desktops to enable users to attach into the, um, uh, to the company data. Um, so uh, we will run, uh, uh, we have reference architectures, I'm sorry, from 500 all the way up to 3,500. Um, and, and we uh, offer these on both uh, VMware uh, vSphere and, um, uh, I'm sorry, Horizon View and on, on Citrix Zen Desktop. The key here is that all the customer really needs to do is you know, pick out the number that they need. So if they have, I have a 500, uh, user instance, then you know we have offerings based on the VNX 3200, uh, and then the Think Server or the System X uh, one and two socket rack systems. If you go higher, 1250 all the way up to 3500, it's based on the Flex system um, uh, with uh, with the EMC storage solution being the Extreme IO, ranging from a half brick uh, to a full brick. Um, and we are talking, we are in talks now to expand this to. Uh, to being much larger. On private cloud, um, as everybody knows uh, customers are, are looking to do private cloud because they need to, um, they, they need the flexibility and the, the cost savings of a, of a public cloud, but they need to have the, the security and the, the control of a uh, of traditional IT. Um, so we will run uh, solutions from the, uh, the gamut of uh, 125 to a thousand virtual machines, um, and again, all the customer needs to do is point out how many virtual machines are you supporting, um, and then the, the configuration is already pre uh, pre cut for you. you. Tell the customer, tell the partner everything they need to order uh, to support that. Talk about where we want to go. Um, you will see some new uh, VSpec solutions announced uh, on Microsoft Exchange and on SQL Server. Uh, we have also upgraded some of the uh, configurations for those existing solutions. Uh, so you will see us come out with fiber channel networking support, um, additional multi-chassis uh, scalability, and uh, the X240M5 um, flex node. Uh, across all solutions. You'll know, see that will probably be the workhorse um, compute node for uh, flex system going forward, uh, not just with VSpecs, but for, for most things. But um, again, you'll see the, uh, the X240 across all the solutions. And then we've also um, uh, announced, or we will be announcing, that um, we're trying to help the partners and customers uh, when it comes to ordering by uh, implementing what's called solution reference numbers uh, or SRNs, um, and not sure if you saw it, but um, uh, last October we announced a virtual SAN ready note. Now I'm not going to talk about the vSAN ready note, but what we also announced were solution reference numbers. So if you look um, at the um, uh, the SRN here, the VSIV SN34 L00. Um, that solution reference number, if you actually Google that number, uh, it will come up on uh, on VMware's website and it will say, you know, that this is the virtual SAN ready node from Lenovo um, and, and here is that configuration. Um, for partners out there, um, if you run that number through the configurator, it will spit out the bill of materials and it will look something similar to 
uh, to this. It'll come up with everything that's that's within it. So it will help uh, help you on the ordering side. So real quickly, um, just to summarize, then we'll we'll take questions. Um, VSpecs is an EMC channel program. Um, they, this existed prior to uh, Lenovo being a part of it. Uh, we have joined it. Uh, it is a meet in the channel reference architecture type program. So we provide uh, the, uh, the channel partners with the, the specific configurations. Uh, those are supported by both uh, EMC and Lenovo. Uh, currently, right now, it's cloud and BDI. Uh, it will expand to uh, Exchange and then SQL a little bit later in the year. And we are looking to expand that again. So we're looking for uh, recommendations or suggestions uh, from you guys. Um, you know, uh, we think that uh, we could expand this to say you know, something to support SAP. Um, you know, this is uh, powered by our servers and their storage. Um, we've developed uh, the, the solution and reference numbers uh, to help uh, partners and customers do the ordering, and um, and. It, we feel that we have a, a superior offering, especially when you look at, um, and, and because I'm Flex, this, is, this chart's going to be based on Flex, but it would also hold some of our Think and SystemX servers. But um, you know, we think we have a superior offering when you look at both the hardware, uh, the X Clarity management, uh, the ease of ordering that we put into this. Um, we think that the, um, the Lenovo solution is, uh, is much better than what's, what's out there. Um, you can see that we support the 24 DIMMs per blade. Um, we have the zone cooling, uh, native fiber channel support, in chassis switching. Uh, so uh, many reasons that we feel we have uh, superior offer. And I also included a chart in here uh, when they post it, which has all the links to the EMC storage. Uh, really like the way their pages are laid out. Uh, it's very easy to learn. Uh, all this stuff on it, but it'll take you right to the specific uh, product that you're that you're interested in, either from the VNXE 3200 uh, to the 5 series, and then the, the Extreme IO. So that's it for presentation slash charts. Um, so, um, why don't we go ahead and uh, Questions here? Is I you ready to move into questions? So, okay. Uh, so yeah. we've had one question come in um, for the 125 VM solution. Um, uh, the the or the asker the caller asks or understands that it's a software defined solution. What is the software stack behind that solution, and uh, how do we get more information around EMC's software defined storage stack? So let me go back. The 125 VM solution is not the fine solution. Um, I don't know that it is. I will double check that. I don't know that it is, but I can find out. Um, and I can find out, uh, Tim, where we can find information on EMC software to find. They have a whole section of it. Um, I know if you click on the link, uh, if you go to the link for the Extreme IO, uh, they have a whole. Um, uh, uh, portion of their website that, uh, you know, uh, dedicated to it. So I will find that information and get it to you. I, I don't have it offhand. So either we did a great job marketing and everybody knew all this stuff and, and didn't have any questions coming in, or <coughs> I did a superior job presenting this. Mm -hmm. Answered everybody's questions um, with the with the charts, and I know that's not true. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I I guess in I guess in uh, closing, I'll just uh, unless you have anything more to add, Pat, I'll just uh, you know state to the callers out there, whether it's customers, partners, or or uh, or Lenovians, reach out to your you know your local. Lenovo uh, representative and uh, for more information on it. Uh, again, we're partnering with EMC in providing the solution. We, we stand out uh, with our competitors by providing 
um, more memory footprint, uh, and so forth. So, um, and um, I don't know if my email is on here on the on the WebEx or not, but it's pmokley at lenovo dot com, and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions if they come up later on um, as you're thinking about it. Um, that would, um, you know, um, be more than happy to, to to answer anything that comes up. Okay. And the deck uh, is available um, now on the uh, virtual user group landing page. Um, it was at the bottom of the invite, and I'll also be sending out a, a recap email with a link as well. Um, If we have anything to add, maybe uh, Pat. So Tim's asking if there's any uh, maybe more details behind the cookie cutter solution, uh, maybe more uh, of the speeds and feeds, you know, around the, the details of the hardware involved and uh, sizing and whatnot. Then we can I can always okay. add that to our presentation for a later review if you have. Yeah, we can do that. All right. With that, I'll go ahead and uh, okay. I'll go ahead and close the call. Um, Nope, sorry, we've got one more question. Uh, has this been rolled out to the local EMC teams? Are they uh, are they talking about our solution around it as well? Yes, uh, yes it has. Um, we've done training for the local EMC teams, uh, actually on a worldwide basis, so they are familiar with it, but they should be familiar with it. Um, we provided them with uh, detailed information on all of our servers. Um, and I would hope that the EMC folks are talking about this with their partners and with their customers. Um, as we said before, you know, these, uh, the VSpec solutions all uh, in the past existed on uh, uh, Cisco platforms. Uh, Cisco is very successful in, in, in leveraging EMC. Um, and as I said at the beginning of the call, we all know that they're not, not playing well in the sandbox together uh, these days. And uh, they have a uh, uh, they have a an incentive to you know to kind of help customers to look at alternative solutions. And we are the at this point in time the number one solution um, uh, alternative to them um, because uh, we're kind of vendor you know neutral in terms of storage. We have uh, some you know, some Lenovo storage, but we also you know we work with EMC very well and. Um, they, they are very incented to, to, to do this. So, um, you know, I don't know how in-depth they will be in a presentation, but they know where to go get the information, and they also know uh, who to contact uh, if they need more. But, uh, and we have had a couple of, <clears throat> excuse me, we have had a couple of, uh, of, uh, of successes uh, with them so far uh, on EMC-led uh, opportunities where, uh, they had a customer, and, and they brought them to us. Okay, great. Uh, we also, I should point out, um, uh, that we are uh, we did a uh, a joint um, a joint presentation slash kind of a partner uh, uh, meeting in Chicago last week. Uh, we had. Um, I would say about uh, 30 to 40 partners there, um, of various you know stripes. There were some you know who were only EMC partners, some who were only Lenovo partners. Most of them were kind of both, um, but they came in. Uh, we did training, uh, and uh, so for uh, for you IDMers out there, uh, I'm 50 cents. Uh, for you Lenovians out there, um, um, sorry, after 27 years, it's tough to, to switch, but. Um, uh, for you Lenovians out there, uh, we are looking to do more of those, and um, uh, those uh, uh, be available uh, hopefully in, in different areas. But it was really a real nice deal. We went to, uh, we had a, a venue set up, uh, sat down, had lunch, did the presentations, did breakout sessions. Um, you know, EMC did a breakout session on their storage for the Lenovo folks. Uh, we did a breakout session on X Clarity, which I thought went very well. Um, and uh, Intel uh, had was participated as well, and they did a breakout session on uh, Intel uh, Intel CPUs and their roadmap. Uh, I think we got very good feedback on it. So these 
hopefully will be coming uh, at least in North America to a location near you. And if you're not in North America, um, you know we have brought these up as uh, something to do in the other geographies and have given them the template. All right, very good. With that, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, close the call. Uh, again, it'll be recorded. I'll send out a link. And uh, thanks, Pat, for your time. Everyone, have a good rest Thank of your you. day. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks, Pat. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate your time as well.